Exponential and logarithmic functions are fundamental concepts in mathematics and are extensively used in various fields such as science, engineering, finance, and computer science. Let's delve into an introduction to these functions. An exponential function is a mathematical function of the form where a and b are constants, with b being the base of the exponential function, x is the exponent. Exponential functions have the unique property that the rate of change of the function with respect to the independent variable x is proportional to the value of the function itself. This property leads to exponential growth or decay, depending on whether the base b is greater than 1 meaning growth or between 0 and 1 meaning decay. Exponential functions exhibit rapid growth or decay and are characterized by a base raised to a variable exponent. Applications of the exponential functions include model population growth, compound interest, radioactive decay, and other phenomena where the rate of change is proportional to the current value. A logarithmic function is the inverse of an exponential function. It is written in the form where b is the base of the logarithm, x is the argument of the logarithm. Logarithmic functions are used to solve exponential equations and to convert exponential equations into linear equations, making them easier to analyze and manipulate. Logarithmic functions are used in signal processing, data compression, pH scale in chemistry, and solving exponential equations. Local variable x assigned to the value 2. Here, x represents the exponent in the exponential function. The second line calculates the value of e raised to the power of x using the math exp function. The function returns the exponential value of its argument, x in this case. The last line prints the result using string format to format the output. Percent %d is a placeholder for the exponent x and percent %f is a placeholder for the exponential result. %2f specifies that the floating point number should be formatted to display two decimal places. The value of x and exp result are passed to string format as additional arguments. Overall, this code calculates and prints the value of e raised to the power of 2, demonstrating the usage of the math exp function in Lua. The first line declares a local variable number and assigns it the value 10. This represents the number for which we want to calculate the natural logarithm. The second line calculates the natural logarithm of the number using the math log function. The function returns the natural logarithm of its argument, number in this case. So, log result will contain the natural logarithm of 10. The last line prints the result using string format to format the output. Percent %d is a placeholder for the number, and percent %f is a placeholder for the natural logarithm result. .2f specifies that the floating point number should be formatted to display two decimal places. The value of number and log result are passed to string format as additional arguments. Overall, this code calculates and prints the natural logarithm of 10, demonstrating the usage of the math log function in Lua. Math log 10 is a built-in mathematical function in Lua that calculates the base 10 logarithm of a number. This function is available in Lua starting from version 5.3. Note. Math log. Calculates the natural logarithm base e of a number x. Math log 10 calculates the base 10 logarithm of a number x. So, the main difference between the two functions lies in the base of the logarithm they compute. Math log computes natural logarithms base e, while math log 10 computes logarithms to the base 10. Example Math log with argument 100 returns approximately 4.60517. As it computes the natural logarithm of 100. 
Math log 10 with argument 100 returns exactly 2. As it computes the base 10 logarithm of 100. Understanding the differences between math log and math log 10 allows you to choose the appropriate function based on the base of the logarithm you need for your calculations. If you are using an older version of Lua that does not have the math log 10 function, you'll need to simulate its behavior by using a workaround. Here's how you can achieve this. We define a custom function log 10 that calculates the base 10 logarithm of x by dividing the natural logarithm of x by the natural logarithm of 10. This custom function replicates the behavior of math log 10 for older Lua versions where this function is not available. By using this approach, you can achieve the same result as math log 10 even in older versions of Lua. It's a common practice to create custom functions to emulate the behavior of missing or newer built-in functions in older versions of programming languages. Understanding these mathematical functions is essential for various programming tasks, especially in areas like scientific computing, data analysis, and game development. In wrapping up this tutorial, remember that mathematical functions are powerful tools in programming, enabling you to perform a wide range of calculations efficiently. By mastering these functions you're equipped to tackle complex problems in Lua programming.